Hey, if you've ever played foxhole, chances are you've been slapped in the face by one of these. An artillery shell. Warden or colonial, we can all agree on how annoying it is to be constantly bombarded by artillery. But there's no denying that artillery is one of the most effective ways to win a front. Want to kill enemies and do a lot of damage without dying? Do artillery. Not only can you kill people from a safe distance, but you won't even lose your artillery gun. Well, as long as you set up safely between defenses that have active AI, especially if you're using the Colonial 120mm. Since it's classified as a vehicle, an enemy can just jump on, claim it, lock it, and you'll just have to sit there helpless and watch your defenses kill your own gun. You won't have this problem for the Warden 120 and both 150mm guns because they're emplacements and can be put in the octagon trenches for extra help. The only problem with artillery is that it isn't very accurate because of dispersion and wind conditions. And, if your spotter is having a tough time spotting where the shells are landing, it means you'll be missing a lot of your shots. So, you'll need a lot of shells to make up for this and be effective. And, once you start shelling, chances are the enemy will start shelling back. So, it's all about who outshells the other. And this is why I wanted to build an ammo facility. You see, there's two ways of getting ammo for artillery in this game. Option 1 is to use the preset factories and mass production factories and get crates of 120mm and 150mm which then needs to be placed in a base and pulled in virtually, which takes a lot of time. Or Option 2, you can build your own ammo facility which takes time and effort to build but once it's up and running you can pump out shells and place them on pallets ready to be sent and used on the fronts. The problem is getting the pallets of ammo to the front from the facility. So. I thought I'd solve this problem by making the facility close to the front line, but it was risky because the closer to the front line, the more likely it would be that it would get destroyed. But I was ready to risk my facility being destroyed, so I found a nice spot in Deadlands near a coal field and began building. Once the first few buildings were up and the active defenses were ready, all I could do was wait till the tier 2 facilities were unlocked, and with the front still holding, I peacefully logged off. But the very next day when I logged on, I was greeted with chaos. The relic base right next to my facility was under attack, and my ammo facility was next. The wardens had recently unlocked mortars and foe breakers, and were on a massive offensive in Deadlands. There was no stopping them. The front was lost, and so was my facility. But that didn't stop me. I was stubborn in making a frontline ammo facility. So, I started looking around the map for a new spot, and I eventually settled up north near a coal field. Contrary to the middle of the map, we were pushing nicely in the north, which meant I could safely build my facility as the friendly forces kept pushing. So I built the defenses and laid the groundwork. Luckily tier 2 facilities hadn't unlocked yet, so I still had time to catch up. There was even time for some sneaky salvage retrieval right on the front line. With the groundwork laid out, all I could do once again was wait. So, in the meantime, I decided to help the front with some tankette action. I'm dead, I'm dead. But once again, the enemy was ahead on technology. And the irony is that this time, they unlocked artillery. And just like I mentioned at the start of the video, they were using it to win this front and push us back. And they did. They kept bombarding us and took the relic base. And next was my facility once again. We tried to out repair, but with no building materials and with no sign of them stopping the shelling, the only thing I could do was accept my fate. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get an ammo facility up and running on any of the fronts because the wardens just kept pushing and ultimately won the war. That's it for this video, hit the like button if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay alerted for more videos in the future. Bye!